there's a lot more feeling and emotion to go into something that you know is going to help people improve their lives, make it easier for them to get, get around this great city. But what these carpentry students are building is wheelchair ramps to make Toronto businesses more accessible. And they're doing it at the Dixon Hall Mill Center. We're kind of their first stop on learning trade and employability skills uh, to connect with jobs in the construction industry. And they're building these ramps for stopgap. We're give, giving businesses with a single step storefront a free ramp. And uh, what that does is um, it gets the conversation started. It's a partnership that is a perfect fit. Students here at the Mill Centre will be constructing these ramps and Stopgap will make sure they make it to businesses around the city that need them. I said, oh, we'd be glad to have that. I said, how much is it going to cost me? She said, nothing. So I love that. The program is already popular in several neighbourhoods across the city. But through this partnership, Stopgap is hoping to get even more businesses on board. We're hoping to, to nail every business in the city um, and get them outfitted with a, with a ramp. The Mill Centre is hoping to launch this program in June, but before then they have to raise money. So there's a fundraiser this Wednesday night. Twelve ramps that are going to have a custom paint job to be auctioned off. Nice to know that what I'm actually building is going to go out and help people in the world. For more information on how you can help the Mill Centre and to find out how you can participate in this week's fundraiser for Stopgap, you can go to our website citynews.ca, click on FYI. Audra Brown, City News.